Hello, good afternoon everyone. Yes, it's that time again. Every month we see a craft along and it's the turn of All and Crate and Abs, of course, is here. And we've got a special guest as well. Now, you have, of course, pre-ordered your kit, so I'm going to show you what everybody's going to be using. Uh, so let's have a look at the stamps that are involved. If you haven't got yours and you do want to buy this after the event or during today's event, you certainly can do. This is what you're getting. Now, this looks like an A4 stamp set, but actually there's two stamps in this particular one, two separate stamps I'm going to turn this around so you can see the stamps you're actually getting although of course the front of the packaging does show very very clearly now in typical style you can see all and create stamps and lots going on in here so you know we, I'm interested to see how these are going to be broken down how they're going to be used uh, I've got some fabulous samples to show you as well now there is another stamp as well that's involved it's the border stamp here so some great detail on this one as well so have you got everything ready are you ready to go? Have you got all your bits and pieces, your oxides, your uh, cardstock and everything ready to go as well? Now then, we're here for two hours, don't forget. Two hours, so here till four o'clock. We've got more than one project. Just as I finish talking, I'm just going to pop in front some samples here, give you a taster of what we're going to be achieving using the stamps, of course, that you've got with your craft along. Now, we are going to be working on more than one project. I believe we're going to be working on some backgrounds that are going to be drying out a little while as well. So we may be doing a bit of skipping around from one sample to another, but we'll keep it at a very nice pair so it enables you to craft along with us if you do have any questions please do let us know through um, Facebook you can contact us through Facebook we like interaction we want to see how you're getting on send your pictures as you go in as well we want to see how you're carrying on with your creation because uh, we do love you to get involved very very much now there there we go so as i make my way over to the table we're going to let you see the v the freedom video with janice herself Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family yes thank you janice now this is exciting isn't it are you ready are you ready now we've got janet here as well <laughs> and of course abs is the teacher isn't he we're going to be crafting along so i can't wait for this do as i say interact with us through facebook as well if you've got any questions take photographs uh, if you want to send photographs in as we're going along send them to the gallery studio at channel.com and we will try and show as many as we can so i'm going to pass it over to you abs what is it we're doing Hi, yeah. Good afternoon. Um, so, um, I don't know the samples that you've been showing. Sorry, yeah. Okay, do you want me to pass these to you? There you go. So, we have loads of samples here. Um, let me show you what we'll be doing today. 
Okay, so we're going to be working in series today. So okay. we're going to start creating uh, mini backgrounds all at the same time on different um, uh, bases. We're using tags and we're using watercolor um, cardstock and watercolor um, uh, mount board or art board as you want Wonderful. to call it. And then um, while we're waiting for some to dry, we're going to work on the other ones. And then so we'll be jumping from one to another. Okay. And by the, uh, by the end of the two hours, we've finished two samples and hopefully we'll have time. At least I can go through um, how you can finish the rest of the background. And Wonderful. also I have oh. loads of inspiration here. Uh, some of them made by me and some of them by Curry Harriman that I think a lot. Like, thank you so much for helping me um, with some, to show you the way of using stamps in a different way and. Wonderful. Oh, I can't wait for this. I'm really ready to go. Now, can we just see the actual samples that we, we expect to finish during this uh, yeah. couple of hours? Um, so we can see what we, we're actually going to achieve. Um, should I which camera? Should right. Do? Can we see that there? Let's okay. just. Let me just. Oops. Okay. There we go. Uh, okay. Show them Let one by one that. if you prefer. Yeah. Okay, there we are. Uh, there you way. go. That's it. Lovely. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. Fantastic. Okay, just one by one. I think it's easy. There we are. Now, Janet, and you're here as well. I you're am. joining us. I this am is nice. <laughs> <laughs> They say two companies, three is a crowd, three's but a not crowd, in this uh, case. We'll no, we're, we're nice and cosy, aren't we? We love this. Yeah. Right, OK. OK, so to start with, um, <coughs> I also me I, I mentioned on the list that we need some watercolour, um, watercolour, sorry, um, uh, cardstock and okay. some tags. Yeah. So I have here a tag here, it's eight, roughly eight inches, but it doesn't have to be exactly eight inches, okay. as long as it's large enough to stamp, because so for those who pre-order the kit and have them already, as long as you can fit this bit, um, this part of the stamp set, right, that's perfect. As you can see here, even this one, eight inches is a little bit bigger, but it's perfect. Okay. So, so it can be seven and a half, can be nine, it can be the size you want. Lovely. So if someone hasn't got a tag quite big enough, big enough, we can use a piece of cardstock. That's exactly what I'm going to start with. So perfect. And Wonderful. also the second reason why I'm going to start with this um, step first, because most of the craft tag that we buy in the shop, they're not watercolour. So not all of them can take the watercolour they can do, but you cannot blend them that easily, and yeah. that can be. Go. So what I'm going to okay. do first, we're going to work on some cardstock. Okay. Right. Either with a pencil, you draw um, a tag, the shape of a tag, and then cut it with a scissor, okay. cut it out, or you just can put your tag if you have one spare here. I did some for you. So oh, thank <laughs> you so much. The only thing that I may <laughs> ask you to thank do you. is if I can find my. Um, where did I put my? The punch to have this. Oh, there you go. If you just don't mind, just if you can put a okay. hole there on the right. top. Okay, In the meantime, that. for those who don't have watercolor tags, what you can do: take your cardstock and then just cut um, some tags here. So for me, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna make any size. I'm just gonna hold that tag on the top and just cut here. And I think then I need something in this, Janet. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> I will show you in a second. It's very different to the one I've got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're different ones. <laughs> Helps if you put it in the right area, yeah. doesn't it? Just so, just like as you can see here, I just <laughs> cut my first um, okay. tag in here. They already prepared some beforehand. As you can see, it's exactly the Perfect. same size. It yes. doesn't have to be exactly the same size. As you said, you can get a little bit bigger or smaller, as long as you can fit the stamp set. And also, it's mixed media. You don't have to be like, Precise, and you don't have to fit all the stamps in because, and then we're going to cut some elements, and then we're going to we're going to really, really play with them the okay, way we lovely. want. So, thought. do you have two? I have one. I have two. Have two? Okay, just look, finish this one quickly because I started, so John can be in the okay, same. Now I'm just going to have a little look. I'm going to get everybody up on the tablet actually. So let's see if we can find. Are we live on Facebook? Who's watching? Yes, we are live on Facebook. Uh, right, let's just scroll down and see where we are. Yeah, there you go, Janet. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah. And don't bin those um, leftovers because we're going to need them for stamping later on. Okay. Put those aside. Yeah, I'm here. I can't see it yet, but I can. I've heard that Nikki's there. Uh, Sarah John's there. Emma's there as well. Yvonne's there. Oh, Emily, Elaine is there as well, all ready to craft along. So we'll try seconds. we'll try and get that up the tablet's playing up a little bit at the minute. Let's see if we can um, we can sort that out. Samples here. 
Okay, so I have here some watercolor paints. Okay, you want to thank share you that very one much. Between thank you. Two. Here, there. And you need a um, water brush, okay. watercolor paint, water brush, some distress oxides, and you can go with the color you want. So okay. I have here different colors. You can go with the watercolor. So me, what I did here, as you can see, one I did it very bright and bold colors. As you can see, let me show you that sample here underneath. And the second one was very vintage and brownish color. Okay. To show you. So right. you can. Yeah, that's so if you just hold it still uh, for a yeah, second that that's lovely. Here. So you can see here um, the two different tags that we're starting with. So, um, but you can also go with the colour you want okay. and um, the amount you want and the mix you want. Wonderful. And the third card is using water paint here. As you can see, I use here different um, paint. I don't know which side. Yeah, here as you can see, here is watercolour paint with the background. Also went with bright colour, the colour that I like using all, all the time. But you can choose Fabulous. the colour you want. Okay. So, um, we're going to work in series. So we have here our two... Um, tags and we have a piece of water color also I gave you one there okay yes I've got that that yep. is a thick one so and then uh, we have also another square piece of cardstock okay also, yes. I think you do have one do you yeah. have one do you I have do. one too yeah. um, so um, if you cannot just if you don't mind grab one behind on the counter there for Janet it's just oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry Janet I thought I gave you one I'll show you. Is that the square one there? Just yeah, one. you can too, maybe. You haven't got Janet's there with yours, have you, Abs? Yeah, that's, I stemmed them ah, to show before right, so the okay. next steps, so I will avoid waiting. Okay. Um, okay, brilliant. So, and we have this one. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to work with four backgrounds. We're going to work on four backgrounds at the same time. Oh, right, okay. And then we will leave some to dry because I always say I prefer drying naturally the colors will always stay there and we have a nice texture texture at the end so Wonderful. let's Can't start wait. on the two tags first okay grab some distress oxides um, just let me know that if you need more colors I have here so you can pick the one you want okay uh, I'm gonna put some Ooh. and you need your um, bottle of water like spray Okay. okay, so I would stick to my choice, the one samples I prepared. I'm going to go with um, first with some vintage um, kind of antique colors, and the second one I'm going to go with some bright colors. Okay. So, on your mat, so I'm just putting some. Uh, right, so I'm going color. with hickory smoke, is that all right? Yeah, and I'm going with gathered twigs. Do you okay. want to oh. twigs as well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> brilliant. So no set colours, remember you can choose the colours of your yeah. choice, but maybe something more, a little bit darker to start with and yeah, then work towards the brights. Okay, so um, after that just spray some water to activate that ink. Just touch that one. and then you will see later on if you need more or not. And then basically what you do, because it's watercolour paper, so either you go straight away and pick just on the edges or what you can do, you can also wet actually your edges because okay. it's watercolour, so you just prepare it, just wet a little bit. And this then... This is the tag, I Yeah, on the tag, please. And then just go, don't, just go, let me show you what I'm doing, just on the edges, can you see? Okay, so, just so put hopefully in everyone at home is following. If anybody needs, hopefully we can go at a really nice pace for you. If anybody's struggling or wants a reminder of anything, please do let us know through Facebook and I'll try and keep an eye on it for you. Okay. Now my colour is uh, completely different to yours actually because I've got, I've got the hickory smoke so it's quite quite light actually, nice. which I don't mind actually. Mm -hmm. um, even do for, I need for example, more mine here is a little further? bit lighter as well. Yep. So what you can do, once it's dry, you can also go add more, or you can do is you add more colour here on your mats, more okay. colour and less water. Okay, right, I understand. That's what I'm okay. going to do, and I think mine is a little bit dry actually. I might stick it off. <laughs> yeah, clearly. A little bit more colour, but not as much See, water. I have put here more colour on my mat. Okay. That's a lot, actually. A <laughs> little bit of water, just to make sure that it's all right. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the edges, just to make sure I have... Yeah, you can see now it's darker. Ah, right, okay. Less water this time. Is mine okay? Or do I need more? Yeah, brilliant. Perfect. Okay, hopefully everybody's following. I will have a little look. Hi, everyone. Helen's saying. 
Uh, yes, Shirley, I will let you know the video is behind the television a little bit. Um, we can't do anything about that. That is simply because of how it works through Facebook and the live television. Um, so if anybody picking up on that, it's, it's not long. It's not long. If you don't mind, just show you quickly. So while it's still wet, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, from a distance, okay. spray some water. So um, if we have any straight light when we are put in here, so that color, we move a little bit to the um, center. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more color or on Or you can I also, think. because wet it, you can also um, move your tag and create um, that nice effect or nice background okay. you want. Just going to put something here. Let me just to make sure. Right, there's plenty of you coming in now, I can see as well. Oh, hi, from Diana in North Carolina. Oh, hi. Hi. Lovely to have you. see, we're worldwide, Alice. <laughs> this is a nice thing. <laughs> That's why we like a chanda. Yes, exactly. Definitely crafting all over the globe this afternoon. Yeah. I think it's now. a brilliant concept, this craft alone. It is, isn't it's it? It's amazing, works really, yeah. really well. It's, and it goes very well, um, it goes perfectly with the shows that we do, because of the show we do demos, and the craft along we go through, pro finish some projects and samples, and I really like the concept. And Wonderful. Well, let's hope it's the first of many apps. Okay. So, we have this one here. We'll put it to dry for now, okay. just on the side. Right. If, you, if, you, if you put too much water, you can see that's probably so where can you? you can just put a little bit in the middle, on the okay. centre, so yeah. it will just not move. So I'm going to okay. put mine here in the centre. Um, I'm actually just going to put one of those here in the middle. I've played quite safe with mine. Mine's quite soft and subtle compared to yours, partly because of the ink that I've <laughs> used, but actually I've got a wider space in the centre and I don't mind that because I don't know where we're going with it next. But don't forget I'll just that work this with is it. only the first step. We're going to add okay. another layer on the top of that Wonderful. colour. So you did where to put, like, if you have a very light colour, don't worry, this is only the first step. We're going to stamp, we're going to add more layers on that area that we put the colour right, on. Right, okay. So you don't have to have it too dark, otherwise we will not see the layers on the top. Wonderful. But those two are perfect here now. Wonderful. I don't need this colour now, so I'm okay. just going to... Oh, is there a little bit of spare clean paper one. for cleaning up? Yeah, sure. There you go. Thank you very much. Now, do let us know how you're getting on with the first, Hope I'm not with the too first quick. Uh, <laughs> no fast. sample background there. Let's have a little look how we're getting on here. Oh, yes. Oh, everybody loves the craft along, you can see. Donna does. Yay! <laughs> she loves the craft along on the chanda. <laughs> Brilliant. We do love it too. Okay, so now we move to the second tag. And okay. actually, mine didn't make the hole here, but I can do it quickly. Oops, sorry, I'm too clumsy today. <laughs> okay, so um, just to refer to that one, so I want it quite in the centre. It's easy when you know how to use the tool, it is, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> they are quite scary looking though, those ones. <laughs> yeah, so I have here my second tag. Now what we're going to do, we're going to work with some watercolour paint. So okay. you can also, again, the colour is your choice. Right, perfect. What I like to do is straight away prepare my palette, okay. my watercolour. Just put the colour here and then again on my tag. But here on the tag, what I'm going to do, as you can see here in this tag, mm -hmm. the first tag I want all over my tag. Okay. And I'm going to stand with the middle, it's more busy and more grungy compared to the second one where you can see more of, um, as you can see, a negative space and that white um, open space. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to work in one part of the tag. I so see. So either the upper one gets you some drips or you can do from the bottom. So it's your choice. Okay. So when I put water, I just put water in the area where I want to apply my paint later on. Okay. So you can make it qu quite wet then, can you abs? Yeah. Lovely. This is a watercolour paper, so don't worry about the water. Yeah. And then I'm taking my water brush, actually just need a quick refill, don't mind. So again, if I'm, I don't know if I'm too fast or <laughs> so hopefully right. All right, we've got no complaints yet by the looks <laughs> of it, so I will keep you posted. Everybody Brilliant. seems to be quite happy at the okay. moment. Okay, so... Um, uh, yes, do send your emails, don't forget, as you're going along through the process. Let's see how you're getting on. We do like to see it at different stages. Uh, so, studio at achanda.com. Okay, so I have my tag here wet, I have my palette, and then you choose the colour you want. I'm going here from... Um, 
kind of darker to the lighter color okay. for the first step. And then I'm going to add darker later on for contrast. But to start with, so you have water here if you want. You can also with your water brush kind of draw where, not draw, just put the water where you want the paint to be on later on. I'm going to start with the first color. A little bit of red here. Oh. You see, just in a random way, just apply a little bit of color on one edge. Because it's darker color, I don't want that much. Um, clean very well your water brush to get rid of all that color. Ooh. That's Ooh, fine. That's yeah, just, yeah, if it's too dark, yeah, just add water. It's a nice color, by the way, Catherine. Thank oh, thank you. It is a nice color, isn't it? Yeah, clean in my um, brush. Okay. Sometimes because it dries quickly, especially when in the studio here. So I'm going to add just another oh, layer water. of water, just to make sure you have that. And then I'm going with I'm copying you now. <laughs> 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 I'm just adding a second color here, just next to it. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be that much because it's just um, first layers. Okay. And then go on. You can go with three colors, two colors, five colors, four colors. It's up to you. Just keep adding here okay. and going from darker to the lighter. So now I'm going to add a little bit of that orange. I like it. Mm. Because it's a little bit, um, a little bit darker than that, the pink that oh, I, I used before. I'm just going to add some water. I can't wait to see what everyone's doing at home, actually. I want to see what colors everyone's using. So do send in your pictures if you can. I'm going with four colors. I'm being greedy. <laughs> okay, after that, I'm going Oh, we're looking at bits. Janet's at the moment. Look how bright that is. That's beautiful. I know, and I don't do bright, so I'm a bit scared now. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with the flow. <laughs> and then the fourth colour, I'm adding a bit of yellow oh, here. Oh, yeah, that's nice, the yellow. Yeah. yeah, and I'm trying to create um, some kind of drips by putting lines. Going. Why is my water brush not... Letting water out, Jack. Oh, do you oh. want another one? Do you want a different one? Thank you. You may come. Has it got water in it? Yes. Ah, that's better. If you think you need, and then if you need, if you think you need a little bit of balance, you can still come back to the first color. For example, for me here, I'm just going to add a little bit to make it longer and the drips longer. And then, as we did with the first tag. I'm just moving my tag around, as you can see here. Just Ooh, set the nice. colour a little bit, blend in more, and we have a nice... Okay. Right there. Oh, I do like that yellow apps that you've used. Uh, is that one in the middle? Is it? Next to the green, I'm yeah. I'm just wondering, yeah, shall I just one. add a little bit of that? That's six colours I think I've got. <laughs> <laughs> That's just being greedy just, now. That is being greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a little bit of a tip around. Oh, I'm happy. Now then, what I've done there, I've crossed my colours over a little bit. Rather than just getting them running straight down, there's a little bit of blending in and out there, so I'm quite, so, I'm quite um, happy So this is that. like, oh, I like yours. Oh, I like the colours. Oh, it's thank nice. you, Abs. Yeah, and you can see very well, like, how you get shading from darker to lighter. And because it's watercolour, the colour really blends in yes. brilliantly yeah. together. So we don't see those kind of marks where you can see, like, blocks of yeah. different colours. Everything is really well. Wonderful. Even those, I like how from very bright bold to very light yellow there. Same thing here with mine. I'm just going to leave it to dry side. Okay. That's second background. Okay. Yeah, this is exciting, doing different backgrounds all at once, letting them dry as you work on something else. It's uh, leaving open sort of that air um, of uh, where are we going with this? Yeah, just going to clean my mats. I have a swimming pool here. <laughs> Put a lot of water. <laughs> I may take another one. There you go. Do you know what? We've got Emily, director, today. She's been doing some crafting this week. 
we've got a new crafter on the team, oh. Emily. Yeah. And uh, Ross is our, uh, is our producer during the two hours for the craft along. They could have been crafting along in the gallery. Why didn't we think of that? We should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're going to work on your um, cardstock, like the watercolour one that I okay. gave you. Um, this one actually, it's um, 21 centimetres by 14, okay. which is an inch. I have no idea <laughs> if you can help with that. Uh, 14 centimetres should be nearly six inches by, let's say, eight inches. Six by eight inches, I think so. But of course, as I said, you can go bigger, or you can go smaller, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, perfect. so now I'm going to do it again with watercolour, but this time on the middle, okay. on the centre of the paper. Do you know, we're definitely international because we've got, I think it's Coletta from Kansas watching as well. Oh, wow. Thank you for letting us know. And I'm going with, so before I put red, pink, orange and yellow, and this one I'm trying to go awesome. with some kind of um, turquoise, Shall I green. activate these a little bit more, do you think? Yeah. 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 My spritz is not spritzing quite as do much you as mine? yours. I think we've managed. I just need to let it sort of, there we go, that'll do I think. Again. <gasps> oh, what colour is that, Abs? That one next to the green. Oh, this one? Yeah. I it really looks very like dark, that. but once you apply it... Oh, I'm going to go for that one. Oh, I seem to have lost my I piece like of that. Card. Oh, uh, is, is it the watercolour? No. no, you. Um, yeah, it's that one. Oh, okay. Uh, I can give you the. Oh, sorry, I'll do that. To cut one. Please nice, let us okay. know what colours you're using. What's your favourite yeah, colours? That one. Do you I'm tend to craft in the same sort of colours, colour? or do you sorry? change as you go through your crafting? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do the next. Do you take inspiration, or do you make your own idea? Or I like to know these things. Studio at achanda dot com. If you can let us know. And then. Do you want to just cut one if you want quickly? No, so I'll, I'll go with this. Okay. Um, so I did the first colour, and then I'm going with that colour next to it, the green. Okay. Oh, now then, I'm trying not to do exactly the same as you, Abs, but I'm so tempted because <laughs> I love the colours you use. Colours are so nice. Go yeah, for it. <laughs> I'm going to go for a bit of blue, just to be different. Oh, I prefer your green. <laughs> It's never late, just get some water, some I, paper tissue know, there. Well, do you know, I might just add a bit of green as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. And then I'm going to add just another colour or maybe two. Um, as you can see here on my finished piece, I used um, green, yellow, and um, bit of blue and pink. Oh, now you're talking a bit of pink. <laughs> <laughs> now that's right, I'm just not more water because it's dry this side. And then I'm going to go with um, yellow first. I'm liking this already. Oh. Hey, it's coming on, isn't it? Yes, so Abs has got really... Are they your favourite sort of colours then, Abs? The greens and the yellows? I do seem to recognise yes. that for you. Yes, <laughs> the green is... <laughs> green and blue are the colours that I use all the time. Are Even they? sometimes I do it in purpose to so don't use those two, but I end up using <laughs> <laughs> Now, Janet, I remember doing the show with you and you're very blue and green as well, well aren't I'm, you? I'm blue and green. I think Abs is green and blue, so... Uh. <laughs> Do you know what I am? I'm a bluey, greeny colour. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be different. So, here, as you can see here, if you can see here, because okay. I have the w oh. too much water and I don't want it to be this, mm. how am I going to okay. do Just take my tissue paper and just take that excess that I don't want from the area that I don't want here because I want more of white negative space. Ah. Can you see all that excess? So, this is watercolour. So, just take it before it dries and then leave it to dry that way. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Is mine okay, Abs? Is that looking all right? Or yeah, great. If colour? you can, just a little bit here at the bottom. A little bit at the bottom. Yeah. Either you go with the same colours, like a kind of blue or another colour, yellow. Or Ooh, I'm going to go with a little bit more of the pink just down yeah. here, actually. Just to sort of... Okay. Oh, I've got a new spritzer in as well. Thank you. Was that Jimmy who just brought that for me? Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. Yeah. I, I, I'm loving this. What colour is that? I just don't so help everyone is following us at home, it's following us. Yes, let's have a little look on here. So uh, what can I say? Oh, I need, oh, I need to borrow my dad's watercolour, says Donna. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Is dad there? Hope so. <laughs> oh, and thanks for the shout out, Coletta says. So yeah. that's nice. Hello, watching and learning from Elizabeth. Um, Kerry is saying hello. Kerry was a new supplier here. 
Uh, I've, I've missed that. I wanted to be here when Kerry was in, so it's nice for you to be watching as well, Kerry. Um, yes, Donna, Donna's really enjoying it. David Kirk's there as well. Hi, David. Watching from my daughter's garden. Everyone is pruning the wilderness while I supervise. Yeah. Sounds interesting. I thought you'd be crafted along. Okay, so um, I have here my backgrounds ready. Okay. Put it side to dry. <laughs> Put it to one side to dry. So, right. so far we had three backgrounds. Um, just okay. I like the colours very much. Now, Janet, have you just stopped that or was it pre-done? I pre-did it. I <laughs> thought that was quick work, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I lost my blank piece of card, so I went with the, the one I'd pre-stamped. <laughs> okay, ah. spray it aside. And now what we're going to do, um, just make put that one aside, because we need okay. it for now, we need it later. Just make sure my mat is dry. So we have three backgrounds drying at the moment. Hopefully everybody's keeping up. I've not noticed anybody say they're lagging behind, so hopefully we're okay. Um, apart from Donna, who might have to run over to Dad's to borrow the watercolours. <laughs> 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 okay, so I'm going to take my um, square. This is, uh, I have no idea what the size of this paper here. It's 25 centimetres by 25, which means in inches. Is that nine inch? Is that... Um, um, oh, that's... More than eight, for sure. Like it's bigger inch. than eight inches, I can tell. Yeah. It's about ten inches square, Yeah, we probably. say so. Uh, but you can go 9 also... 9.8, we're not far off ten inches. That's really, yeah. Good. Yeah. And you can go also with eight by eight or ten by ten. Okay, perfect. I, I, I like working square. I feel I think I feel more comfortable working squares than the rectangles. Don't ask me what I just do. I just do think. I'm <laughs> the same, though. I love square. Yeah. I tend to do square more I than I love anything. squares and circles. I like squares. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to do some stamping now. Oh, I can't just wait. Pop these uh, over there give me here, I have space in my jar. Okay. Right, stamping time. So, get your stamps and stamping inks ready. Stamping time. Okay. So, um, I can't find stamp. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have here my um, both. Um, A4 acrylic block okay. and the border acrylic block. And I'm using Lovely. the orange create one because they're thin. Flexible, you can bend them and you can put a good pressure to have a nice print. Yes, but you don't put them through a die cutting machine, have <laughs> No. Did you hear about that? <laughs> when I washed that. <laughs> <laughs> for everybody that didn't, that's what I did. <laughs> Thinking it was a plate for the yeah. die cutting machine. <laughs> um, just, if you don't, sorry, if you don't mind your stamp is just behind, I forgot to give it to you. Is, can you your stamp is next to the vase. Okay, yeah, the one A4 second one. everybody, I'll be back, don't worry. Yeah. Okay, so I'm using here the A4 um, stamp set, yeah, that one. So as you can see, um, you have two different designs on it, they're all large, full of details, like so many okay. details to go. So we're going to work with both of them. First one, we're going to stamp the top parts. Okay. Now, do I need an acrylic block? I can't be trusted with one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, I don't so. think I'm allowed one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using here um, a permanent ink, black ink pad. I'm using the Versify. The reason why I'm using the Versify is um, you can use archive or you can use any other um, permanent. The only reason is because it's a big stamp set. So if sometimes if I use the archive, it works. But okay. sometimes the time I do ink here and I go to the other part, the time I finish this bit, that one is already dry because the archive yeah. dries quickly. And then when you stamp, you have you don't have a nice print. Okay. But because first of all, it doesn't dry that quick, that fast, so it gives me more time to apply a good layer all over my stamp, and when I stamp, I don't miss any details. I see. So oh, and second, second tip that I always say, use a good layer of ink. Because if you don't have a good layer, sometimes some bits are darker than others. Okay. For this step, to be honest, it doesn't matter because this is only the background. We're gonna layer and layer. So even if you miss some bits, we will not see them later. But in some projects, if you want to have a nice print, make sure you have a good layer of ink. Okay, great tips there from Abs. So don't worry too much if you don't get an even stamped yeah, image this time. For this step. So I'm gonna apply good. I think I put too far too much. But it's not a problem. Better than <laughs> less. So I'm gonna stamp here. I'm trying to don't put exactly the centre, a little bit up. Mm. So um, I already pressed here, and then because it's flexible, what you can do, if for example, you can put your finger somewhere and then ah, just right, click on okay. center to make sure you have a nice print. But as I said, don't worry, because for this step, we don't, we're not looking for something perfect. Okay. Because later on, we're gonna die cut those elements and then raise them up right. so we will not see and the background. Okay. Yeah. 
but also because it's flexible, it's also, it helps you to get a nice print. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to borrow Janet's see. because she's got the acrylic block. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I have here Thank my you. print done. Uh. Oh, now then. Uh, Chris is saying, help, I'm getting lost. But Chris, ah, we're not oh. quite sure where. Didn't where are you up to? If you can let us know where you're up to and we'll help out. So have you done your backgrounds? Are they drying? Are you ready to stamp? If you just can let us know, we will we'll help you out. OK, let me know and I will help you out. OK, don't forget this is the fourth background. We've got three drying. Yep. This is we the fourth this one. Side. We did the tag with the watercolour and we did the card with a watercolour. Okay. okay, so I have here my stamp. Yep. Ready, if you can show. Okay. I don't know which camera I should um, point to first. Uh, I think that one, as you can see. And you can see all those different elements. And you can see it's a nice point which because I have that again? acrylic block that really helped me to put the pressure on where yeah. I want to, uh, to have okay. a nice print. I've done one before at home. As you can see, I stamped before here at home. So I have two ready. One of them will be the background that I'll be working on. And the second one is to take, to take, to cut out all the elements that I want later on to raise I up. see. OK. So um, you can, uh, I've prepared some for you guys if you want, for the second print. OK. So I prepared just some for you. You can have one. Oh, here. thank you. Yeah. And you can have one as a oh, second thank you very piece. Much. That helps. And um, while people are doing this stuff, if you don't mind, we can cut out um, those the hands and um, the circle here and the small elements. OK, so everyone at home, if you're not quite with us, two stamped images, one you're going to cut into, one you're going to keep as your background. So with that stamp that we just used there, you can do two of those images. OK, if, sorry, just quickly mention that. If, for example, you have this, this is perfect, this is fine, but this is a perfect example. As you can see, this one is more um, crisp, the printing, than this yeah. one. Let me show them. You can see here some bits are a little bit missing, not that much. So the the, the background that this one, as you can see here, I missed some bits in here, in here. So that one will be my background. And because these images are printed perfectly, I'm going to use them to take cut because those will be on the top later on. Yeah. Because those are perfect. That's the, the one that I'm going to cut out now. Okay. So, and I keep this one that I missed a few bits for the background because later on we will not see this bit anyway. Wonderful. Now then, Chris has replied. I'm just going to double check what Chris is saying. Okay. Chris, don't panic. Um, Right, you're, you're right. You should have three drying. That is correct. You've said you've got three drying, so that's right. So the fourth background is the stamped image. So that's the stamp from the larger set that came with the craft along kit. It's the one with the hand in it. So you need to stamp that twice. So if we can just show again what Abs has got. This is, so you are with us. You, d you don't need yeah. to panic. You're not far behind at all. You just need to stamp those two images. One you're going to cut out. So if you've got one that's better than the other, use the best print for cutting out. Thank you. Do let us know. Do let us know if you're still having problem, though. I'll keep an eye on things. Brilliant. OK. OK, so in the meantime, hopefully people will catch up. So if you want to see what we... Um, <coughs> to be honest, for this demo, I got the inspiration from um, the samples that I made by my friend, um, Corey Harriman, as you can see. So she die cut the circle, the hands, and so if you don't know what to cut, this is how they look like um, once you raise them up, if I can show I you see. this. Okay. My, my sample is a little bit different, but for this step, you can see here the elements that have been um, cut out. Lovely. Um, I don't know if you show it. Yeah, that way here. As you can see, the hand here, um, all the rest of the elements are cut out. Let me just, you can see how they cut out in 3D? Yeah, I think we can just see that. Yeah. So this is. Yeah, um, we can make that. This, uh, the finished sample is different, of course, but as I said, just the element that we need to cut. Okay. This is a perfect example to show you. Okay, let me just uh, cut mine quickly. Cut out mine okay. quickly. So I'm just having a look at some more messages just while you're doing that then, Abs. Okay. Um, so Julia, I noticed, has said, oh, I, hope, I don't, hope we're not too late with this, is a Stazon ink okay to use? To be honest, it's not my favourite for this, uh, for the same reason as I said for the archival. Um, I like um, the Versafine because it's um, more open for yeah. for that, for drying and gives you more. I don't use Stazon that often, so I'm not the expert to tell you if it's 100% okay, okay or not. But um, I tried it twice and I was more fan of the Versafine, okay. either Claire 
or the normal versify. I don't know if we have one here. Yeah, like for example, those. Julie, yeah. if you've not done it yet, or you may have already done it, I think stays and give it a go if you haven't got the versifying. Be interesting to see how you get on with it actually. If you have got a Versafine, go for the Versafine, but if you haven't, try the stays on um, and hopefully you'll be fine with it. Don't forget as well with your cardstock, if you're not happy with one of these, just turn it over and do it on the other side as well. That's what I do all the time. Yeah. Pick, pick your best one out for cutting the images, the, the 3D bits. The background, as Ab said there, it doesn't matter if you've got little bits missing here and there, there's so many layers going on it. Oh, Donna says definitely square. I square. presume she means cardstock. She'd like yeah. square card as well. <laughs> and Lynn saying, what a treat. Love these products. Uh, still don't know if Donna's managed to get the watercolours on. I hope her dad was in when she popped round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Julia, I did try the stays on, but it didn't work. No. Uh, okay, yeah, that's why I prefer Versafine and on the list also I mentioned that I'm using Versafine. Okay, yeah. right. I don't know what to suggest there, Julia. Maybe have another go and be really, really quick with it. You can try and stamp quickly. If you haven't got another ring, if you've got anything else, try a different Actually, ink. Actually, what she can do if she has only the, uh, the stays on one, what she, she did to use a stamping platform. So the bits that yeah. she missed, she can uh, ink that bit and then keep doing until she yes. has a full print. Yeah, if you have got a stamping platform, that's a great idea, Julia. Then just don't move your cardstock, just keep yeah, reprinting until sure. you pick everything up. Right, do keep in touch with us though, let us know. Right, do I need to get cut in as well? I do, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get behind myself. Do you myself. want some scissors? I've only yeah. got, oh, I've I've only got, got one pair. pair. No, don't I worry, got, I can I catch up. I have got another pair in my bag if um, I can go and get that. You have your scat, I think. I have mine cut, but oh. Catherine needs. I've got another oh, yeah. pair I, of scissors. Can I borrow those yeah, just to cut those, mine yeah. out then? Yeah. Right, and while we're doing this, we'll have a little bit of a chat then. So, so you can um, see, I already cut here two pieces. Okay. And I just need the hands. So, Janet, did you, were you here again recently? Did I miss you the other yes, day? Yes, I was on last a week ago. The eighth. I was a yeah. week ago. Yeah, last was Sunday. Wasn't it? Ah. Oh, yeah, I thought I I'd did. seen your name somewhere, but I wasn't <laughs> in that day, which I is did rare. Two shows. I think you were painting your caravan because I watched your Facebook. I'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, oh, it's coming on a treat now, you know. <laughs> we're waiting for the final look, though. <laughs> We've seen that you're doing the inside, like... Y yes, it's just uh, I need days off, this is the thing. So I have to wait until I've got a day off each time. So and then this I can is get a caravan, again. Yeah, yes, yeah. Right, so I need the... So we're yeah. cutting out the wheel, or past the wheel, the wheel, the quarter the of a, an inch sign, or the quarter sign, and the hand. That's what we're cutting out, isn't it? Chris is saying, what are we cutting? Now then, we're cutting through one of the stamped images, so the one that is the better print, if, you've, if there is a difference, and we're cutting out, if I can just, I'll hold mine up so you can see it. So the wheel, uh, you don't have to cut the whole thing because there's kind of some paint splatters on it. Actually, they can pick which element they want up. to raise up later on. So there's the wheel, and then I'm also, I haven't cut it out properly yet, but I'm cutting out the quarter sign. And also, I'm going to borrow Janet's because I haven't done mine yet, <laughs> the hand as well. There you go. So if you can cut those out ready, that would be ideal. I wonder who Stephen is. Yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? The hand oh, has Stephen. Stephen written on it, so oh. <laughs> you wondered who Stephen was. <laughs> Did you ask for pressure then? Yeah. Can Stephen be pressure? <laughs> And of course you can keep, I don't know if we are going to use them actually, but if we're not, we can keep these other elements and use them oh yeah, of at another time, yeah. can't we, as well? So don't throw anything away. Because on the list I put on Facebook, I've said to people, they cut, um, like, cut out in advance the element that you want, so yes. it depends which one there. You can see here, for example, this one I missed a little bit, but look now how it's perfect here. And you're going to have the hand here, you're going to have the circle, you're going to have some element. Try to go with odd number, odd number. Okay. I've had four here, I'm going to add fifth one, but... I'm too lazy, so I'm just going to get rid of one. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I have my pieces here ready for this project. OK, mm. lovely. OK, are you with me? Um, well, I'm just catching up with you. Let's have a look on here. Uh, Donna says... Right, oh, Donna's just... Oh, now the, now the tablet's gone off. <laughs> oh, I don't know the code and it's gone off. <laughs> Help, Jimmy! <laughs> don't ever look. <laughs> just been told what it is. It's the one. <laughs> right, Donna, yes, Donna's just uh, confirming what we're cutting out. The hand, the wheel and the quarter sign we've cut out there. 
How to spend a Sunday afternoon, Vicky says, and she's clapping. <laughs> oh, Donna Brooks. Abs was not shouting at the TV. If you were referring to my comment, I was thanking Catherine for mentioning me on air. Oh, that's fine. Yes, we call it a shout Thank out. You. No. We call it a shout out. Yes, we're not. You weren't shouting. We were giving her a shout out. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just saying hello. Yes, yeah, so that's lovely. But Donna, did you get the watercolours? That's what I <laughs> want to let know. Her know. <laughs> right, okay, Abs. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready, okay. Okay. But it's not 100% dry. We're just going to give it a few more minutes. In the meantime, I can work on the others. Okay. Okay, let's take, let's come back to that one. Actually, this one I forgot to put um, all in here. Would you prefer not to use a heat gun then on these uh, abs to dry them off? I'm or? one of those people who don't like heat gun. Um, right, okay. Because I like when, when it dries. As if you can see here, um, all the pigments are still in here. And you can see yeah. the lines, the edges, the textures. It's really nice if you can yes. show people here on the background here. I like how they dry naturally better than um, when you use a heat gun. Uh, I don't know which... Actually, oh. I do agree with you there. I mean, when we demonstrate it, sometimes we use heat guns just to speed up the process Oops, because we don't have the choice. But at home... Yeah, that's what I do as well I when I'm teaching. I can't <laughs> see the difference oh. there. When you've got the time, try and let it dry naturally. OK. OK, right, lovely. Right, let's use now um, the border set from the kits. The border stamp set, the one that you have next to you. The border stamp set, yeah. Do you have um, acrylic block? Thank you. Okay. So I'm using the acrylic. I'm using the border acrylic block to go with, and then I'm gonna choose the same colour that I picked for my backgrounds. Okay. Right. Lovely. So the first tag that we did, that's the one yeah, we're looking yeah, at sorry, first of all. Yeah. Yes, we're working out on the first tag that we did. Perfect. And I'm gonna put the ink. I'm gonna on my stamp. But just on un one bit. One of these was a bit better than the other, wasn't it? You've got the good one. They have one here. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do, as you can see, I put here the ink on my um, stamp set. And I'm going to spray it from a distance, just to have that watercolour effect. Spray okay, it. So yep. Stamp set on my acrylic block, ink, yep. and then spray water. Okay. And then go here. I don't want a perfect print. I just here okay. to have some details, some textures here and there on my background. If you don't have enough. Oh. Yeah. Uh, be interesting to see how mine works out because mine's a much paler colour. So I am interested to see what happens actually. A little bit of water. If you don't know what I'm doing, I can put this one next to it so you see what I'm stamping here. Just oh, all over? Yeah, that's all right. Okay, I, like yeah. that. I like this colour. I like colour. it too. Yeah. Right, and You're just kind of... One. Okay. As you can see. Lovely. I'm going to add more brown here because I can see one side's not balanced that well. Okay, I need more in here. Okay. Water. And then go and stamp. Now you're using the same part of the stamp each time, Abs, here. I have to be a random, actually. But it doesn't matter, you Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let me, right. let, yeah, let me use the other part. I Sorry. might use the other end, actually. So everybody at home, here. entirely up to you what you're doing here. Yeah. Do your own we thing. Just follow, follow loosely. Well, follow the instructions and how to use the inks and the spritzers. But it is nice to see a variation on the theme. Actually, the other side is also nice. I like mm. the lines and the, the text and... Oh, I like this bit here. here. Mm. Right, I'm happy with that, yeah. I think I need a little bit more just on that, uh, just at the top there. Yeah. Ooh, I'm nice. going to go, I'm not even going to ink water that one, I'm going to go a little bit darker. There we I'm are. I'm liking just to fill how it's in. drying. Can you see here? Yes, yeah. And on the TV, yeah, it's even amazing. better when you see it in there. It does, it looks fantastic. Do so let us know how you're getting on at home. Oh, thank you, Gillian. Gillian likes the colour I'm using. It is hickory smoke. Hickory smoke. Oh, Gillian likes my colour as well. Oh, thank you, ladies. <laughs> right, OK, now then, we've got about nine and a half minutes to the first break. So the first hour 
So are we yeah. okay for time? We're we getting okay? along nicely. Yep. That's the that's the longest step because we need to okay, gonna try perfect. and we need to get back up. And now what we're gonna do for this one, um normally it dries quickly because yep. we only had from water on the stamp and not on the tag. Of course. So it dries quickly. But I can see a few bits and a little bit dry because there were more water. I don't mind going with my um tissue paper just to get that excess off. Okay. But leave it to dry first few seconds because to don't lose that um print. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Mine's not bad at all, actually. It's almost dry. There we go. Janet, can we have a look at yours? Because we've not no. seen much of yours yet. Now, you've got the same colour as Ab's there, haven't you? But look, you can see every one will be different yeah. because, because of the white space and the way things have been stamped. Very nice. Very nice. And you can see the face in yours. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, you can, can't you? Yeah. Oh, I've got one in the bottom corner. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we're going to use okay. um, the second part of that A4 step. Oh, yeah, it's in there. There it is. <laughs> so now we're using which one, Abs? Um, the A4, but the second stamp. The A4, but the second stamp. The right, I'll have to borrow Janice's blocks. I, I, uh, unless I'm missing a block bar. somewhere. I think I put for you one by the paper. Check the big shot. <laughs> Check the big shot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll just borrow one of the cutting plates from the big shot. <laughs> so this is the light bulb, then. Yeah? yeah, that one. Very big, we can come past your mind. I, so I will catch up when Janice has used that yeah. one. I'll have so a little look through the one, yeah, messages. I'm using a permanent ink, again, Versafine, but a light colour. Oh. I'm not going to stand for mm. the black now. OK. Should be. Right, so you're using uh, a Versafine again, but a different colour this time. Yeah, what on the is list the colour I of that put, one? Um, toffee. Right, toffee. toffee but it yeah. doesn't have to be the same, but if you no. have got the Versafines, it's a different colour. For example, you have colour. grey on your background, yeah. you can go with the grey, you can go, for example, with um, light blue, or okay. you can go with um, all the colours that much. But you can also go with that one, because it's a nice okay. colour. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go for that light box stamp set. Lovely. A good layer of ink using my A4 um, stamping platform, uh, not stamping platform, acrylic block or yeah, it's a stamping, mm -hmm. well. stamping plates and then stamp on the middle of that uh, wide open space ah, as you can see. Right, and now okay. I'm just going to press here to make sure I have a nice print but again we mainly want that background around the light bar because the light okay. bar is another stamp that we're going to do on a spare piece of cardstock yep. and then stick it on the top as you can see in here. Ah, you right, see? okay. And then with the glossy accent and with some colours and watercolour pencils, we're going to make it more 3D and to pop more. I understand. Yeah. So okay. And I didn't want to go with the black because the black is too dark for this step. I would prefer leaving the black for later on. Yeah. If we put too black from now, it will be too much busy and too much darker later on and then we may miss some of the details and okay. the focal points. Okay, now well, Janet, what colour are you using? Um, yours? I'm, I've pinched Ab's toffee because oh, right, you've um, got to, right, okay. <laughs> we discovered earlier that I have got a toffee coloured ink pad, but it stamps a completely different colour when you <laughs> ah, use it. I, it's maybe okay. a bit too old. I don't know what I'm using yet. I'm, I'm just going to watch and then decide. Uh -huh. yeah. um, Kirsten, thank you very much. Uh, right, yes, I, I am using Hickory Smoke, as Donna has said. Someone's asking what colours. Um, Abs and Janet are using gathered twigs. That was the background colour to put the colour around the edge of the tag. And then the same colour to do the stamping, but spritzing the water onto the stamp. And now we're going to use a different colour. So I'll keep an eye on that. Which way up is your light bulb? Sorry? Which way up is the light bulb? Um, that side. So Coming down. No, upside down. Button. Ah, yeah, so we're having the light bulb facing upwards. Yeah. So the glass so, is at so the top. So far you don't see that much, as you okay. can see, yep. because we already have a busy background. But you can see, if you look very close, you can see the light bulb here and you can see everything. So I'm going to put it aside for now. Keep my stamp here on the acrylic block. Okay. Take one of the spare pieces of your cardstock, with that, that one that you use to cut all the pieces. Ah, you can yes. stamp in that bit. Okay. Or yeah. here. It's, plant, it's enough because we only want the light bulb. We don't need all the rest. Okay, so I'm going to take my, um, where's my, uh, is that the one? Toffee, oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Now, because I've gone a completely different colour to you, Abs, can I use one of the Distress Oxides to stamp, or is it going to be affected later? On the background, you can. With the background, I can. Yeah, you can. Okay. Right. Ooh. Could I borrow oh, that, one. that one, please? Thank you very much. Yes, have all those. I do have this one, if you want. That's the one I did that. I'm uh, going to okay, go with this one. Okay. 
So How now I'm going to do, to I'm going to do the book. same thing. I'm taking, I'm using the same stamp set, the same ink pad, the Versafine one, but stamping on a spare piece of cardstock. Okay. I might have to stand up to stamp now. I'm not yeah. good at, I'm <laughs> not not good at doing it sat down. down. Did you stamp them before? Yes. Them. Oh, fine. Yeah. Right. I'm standing up. <laughs> I'm flexing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm very nervous of these well, blocks did now. After what I did with one, one but no, you know, there is a lot of flex in these. You are quite safe to do with that. Box. I don't know if I've overstamped this one or not, but I put it through the die cutting machine, thinking it was a, a plate for the die cutting machine. <laughs> okay, so. I'll cut it again. Oh! So I have here stamped on a spare piece of okay. paper. Lovely. Different colour. Do you want to use um, the same colour on this piece? Yes. Do you, you, I'll, you'll keep yours for a minute, Janet, and I'll do mine, because you're using the same colours as ours, and then we're, we're all up to date, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Um, the only difference, Catherine, for that one, try to get oh, a different with, ink. Because when we do watercolour later on, the it's oxide run, is not permanent. Yeah. So what would you suggest I um, use? Um, there you go, yeah. Uh, do you grey? Oh, I have grey actually. Do you? Okay. Grey would be good. Can I grab okay. it before it goes behind you there? With the, I do have grey and um, Versafine. Okay, now we've got a minute and a half until the first break. That means the first hour will be up shortly. Yeah, Are you one. all alright? Let me know. Oh, Coletta likes to stand up and stamp as well. Yeah, no. <laughs> so that's really great thank one. you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just cut out the light bulb. Only the light bulb. Okay. Just the light bulb. So I don't have to put too much ink on here on the rest of it, do I, Ben? Now, when we say break, it's not long at all. It's only about three minutes that we're going to be missing. So don't, so don't go anywhere go unless, <laughs> unless you want to make a quick cup of tea or knit to the, to the powder room. <laughs> <laughs> Just briefly. That's a nice way to say it. That's very posh. <laughs> yeah, that's very posh. <laughs> trying to be polite. <laughs> trying to be polite. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much, Janet. Thank you. Now, Someone. yes, we'll be counting down to the break shortly, exactly. so that also gives you time to send any messages through Facebook or email into us as well. If you want to send pictures of what you've already done, studio at achanda.com. Uh, we will be back, but I'm keeping an eye on these messages, so if anybody's getting a little bit stuck, do, do let us know and we'll help out as best we can. So be with us, don't go away, yeah, just hurry house. up with the kettle, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, See you in a minute.
Yes, welcome back. Are you ready for the second hour? We certainly are. Hope you're keeping up. Uh, let's just have a little look. Yes, I love her abs. Such a nice chat. That's what Jill's saying. Uh, that's very nice to hear. Um, a, a few you. of you I know are watching and recording as well. You want to watch and really take in what's happening. And then you're going to craft it along with the recording as well, which is really good. Um, yes, great. And Coletta likes to stand stamping up as well. No, stand stamping up. She likes to stamp standing up. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> Right, so where are we going okay, next? Then? So Let's have a little just look. Just before the break, what we did is we stamped. I'm uh, sorry, where's my background? So we stamped the light bulb on our tag okay. with using a light versifying um, ink pad, not a black one. And then we did the same thing with the same color on a spare piece of cardstock okay. as you can see here. Yep. So I picked this color because it goes very well with my background. But as Kathleen, for example, sh she picked a gray, and it depends on which color you use for your background, you can choose it on. OK, I am just going to show, because I stamped on the tag with, um, it was Stormy Sky, which is an oxide, but because the colored one needs to have the water on, I've had to use the Versafine, which is a gray. But that's fine. That works for me. It works I'm very happy well. with that. Yeah, yeah. you're nice. saying the same combo. And what we did is the same thing using, um, we, stamped the same, uh, we stamped with the same stamp set, but using a black um, permanent uh, ink pad, which okay. is here Versafine for me. And so we have the three R here ready. One of them we go with this project, and two others we go with the other project okay. that I try in the meantime. OK. Then what we can do is we take in here now a watercolor pencils this time we have watercolor but pencils this time we put all those aside and then i picked here for the light but i picked red orange yellow okay you should okay. all have that you can yes. see on the top donna i hope your dad's got some watercolor <laughs> pencils <laughs> <laughs> of the right colors. And then if you can put them in, like, in order from the darker to the lighter, so red, orange, okay. and then yellow. Red, orange, yellow. So I'm going to yeah. start here from the bottom of the light, put in some red, but as I always said, when you use watercolor pencil, don't press too much, otherwise you'll have those marks on the pencil, and okay. it's not easy later on to get rid of them. So put good layer of color, but don't press. Okay. And you don't want to colour it in a straight line, do you? No. Or does that no? So keep it a little bit sort of random. Okay, yeah, you can get yeah, around them. Some of them here go a little bit higher. If uh, I don't know if they can make yeah, they can see. Let me just move a little bit here the centre so they can see what I'm doing. You're and doing then, the black one or the Sorry? You're doing the black one. Uh that bit here? The black image. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. Sorry, okay. I just start with the black, but you can do the same thing here. In that one, I'm gonna do the same thing, just a bit here on the bottom part. As Catherine said, in a random way, it doesn't have to be all the um, same lines here. Just add another layer, just to make sure I have enough pigments of watercolor okay. without pressing again. Do the three of them at the same time. OK, right. I've only got one cut out so far, so I shall catch I up I'm later. Do I, do I have one spare? Don't worry if not. OK, I'll we'll give, give you one anyway, because have my notes. Okay, so I'm just doing here the first colour. Plenty of colour without pressing. And then I'm going to move <laughs> to the second colour. Donna's all right. She's got coloured pencils, watercolour oh, okay. pencils. <laughs> so relieved, Donna. So what about the paint? Did she get that from her dad or not yet? Uh, she, I don't think she's managed. Oh, let's have a look, just in case. Oh, Donna's watching and recording to craft later, so she's got time to sneak those watercolours <laughs> out of Dad's studio. <laughs> Ah, oh, we've had an image coming from Linda as well to show us how she's getting out. Oh, wow. oh fantastic. Oh, wow. look at yeah, that. Cool. Love that background. Look at that stepping pin there on the left hand side. With the, she already cut out the um, hand, the wheels, and mm, brilliant. Fabulous. Is that Linda you said? Linda, Linda yes. Oh, brilliant. Love Linda. it, love it. I love, love that background, and that makes the point that you said yeah. don't use a heat gun, let it dry naturally. You can see the difference. You can see the difference yeah. in terms of mm. colours, in terms of textures, and also yes. when you touch it a little bit, you see the difference. Definitely. Okay. Thank now you, I put the red aside. I'm going okay. to the second colour, which is the orange, okay. and go in next to that red again in a random way. Okay. Just add a little bit of colour, but don't go too much up because we want to keep that part here white. We ah. don't want to add colour in this top part. So just next to the red. Just. Add Are you able just to, to put your light bulb slightly more to the centre of the mat, abs, just so we've got is you on the right? camera a little bit better? There we go. Yeah. That's and lovely. now I'm going to add second colour orange. 
and then do exactly the same with the third color. Just go next to it and okay. add a bit of yellow. Like how it always goes, go, it goes quiet know, when you're coloring, it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if it's gone quiet in everybody's house as well. I'm going to quickly do them in the two others. <laughs> it, you do, you get lost when you're coloring, don't you? You yeah. kind of just drift off. <laughs> okay, Lovely. I'm happy with that. Okay, so okay, I have nice. my three light bulbs here already. Okay, yeah. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take the water brush. Okay. Mine needs a refill again. You okay with water? I do need a refill. Oh, I think mine's empty okay. now. If you want to do this one, it's easy. Okay, I'm going to let you do that for me. Okay, let me do it for you then. There you go. Sorry, thank you. That's a lot easier than going to the tap, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Do you need water, Janet? Or you no, I think I'm okay. Thanks. Okay, brilliant. Now what we're going to do, just make sure you have um, a piece of tissue paper or um, any tissue um, next to you to take the excess of paint okay. each time. So clean your Please water brush. Your <laughs> <laughs> clean your water brush in case you still have colours from the previous steps, which is the case with my water brush. Okay. Now it's all clean. So I'm going to just put a little bit of water here as my palette to make sure. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put water on the top of each colour. Okay. So without blending them in. Just for example, I'm starting on the red. Right, okay. Kind of, um, I'm wetting that. You can see now what I did? Just some water on the top of the red. Just on top of the red to start with. Okay. And then clean very well mm -hmm. your water brush. Take more water from here. And then go on the orange. Ah. Oh. Clean your water brush. Okay. Take mm, for the last time, water and do it on the yellow now. The yellow. That said, so far we only put your water. Okay. Adding water to those colours. And now clean your brush and put some water and try to go between those two colours. Right, okay. Just to have a nice blending. Right, so you're kind of losing that harshness between yes. the, the two. Oh, I like this technique, Abs. I've not done it like this before. I'm, see, I'm learning something today. This is. Brilliant. Really good. Like this. And then without cleaning my brush, I'm just going to add water and try to take a little bit of the colour okay. to that white space that I didn't add any colour. Take it down from the bottom right. and put a little bit. So it's not really, that it will not stay white, but not red or orange as well. So it's just very a effective. little bit of colour here. Lovely. So in more practice, I will just quickly do this one. So if you missed that detail, I have water here, first layer. Okay. The minute I add water, can you see how the pigment reacts? The yes. minute it adds water. Yep. More bold and strong. Clean it. Get on the top of the orange. Clean your water brush. And then the last colour. I think here I need to fill. Anyway. And then water between those two colours to get rid of all that hash and the lines. Wonderful. This is a really handy technique to remember. Yeah. And then just take some colours up there without really okay. um, adding a lot of colours. Now, for those who just want to need a recap, we are using at the moment, of course, the watercolour pencils. Now, what we've done, we've stamped out the light bulb using a colour that won't react or the ink that won't react to the water, obviously, so a VersaFine or something that's not going to react. Now, the Craft Along products, we're going to uh, show you, just to give you a reminder, actually, there you are. These are the stamps that were part of the, oh, this is the Craft Along kit, actually. You can still get this today, even if you didn't get it before, but you're recording this or you're watching this. If you're recording, you can watch it back. If you want this kit, you can still get it. The details are there on the screen for you right now. You can go to the website as well. And, of course, other products are available. Maybe you want to stock up on some of the oxides and that sort of thing as well so do uh, although we're not about uh, pushing sales on you today because it's about the craft along we do know that people tune in and do like to record and buy the kit even after the event yeah in case they missed it or in case yeah, they didn't see it of course okay so i have my three light bulbs here aside 
wonderful. Oops. One of now I'm gonna just leave them to dry. That will dry quickly because okay. we didn't have like before. Just put them aside now. They will dry normally cooking, it won't take that long. But if I show you those two finished samples here, as you can see, I use so many other elements, not only the light bulbs here, but also I have the face of the man here and they have the small light bulbs. The small light bulbs comes from the stamp sets, uh, which is here. It was also on the list okay. of the catalog. It's orange, it's also available on the website, if you don't have it. Is that one if you want to show okay. them? Okay, you okay. can get these on the website, actually. So those of you that got the vouchers, you may want to use your voucher to purchase this if you haven't already got it. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm using this one and um, the light bulb stamp set here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to stamp those. Um, if I can find them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. On the ah, back. Ah, right, OK. Yeah, the back yes. of the acrylic book. So um, take one of those spare pieces of your cardstock. OK. Because we just need that small bits in here. I'm going to take my um, Versafine. I wonder how, uh, was it Julie who had the stays on? Let's have a look, see if Julie's been back to us. Oh, Chris, Chris is enjoying the show, but she says I'm too slow. Chris, are you, are you uh, recording? Because you can go back, of course, or watch and rewind. So don't give up, please don't give up. Um, and if you do want anything specific answering, please do ask. Uh, right, ah. Can you see? Gillian's saying she's mm -hmm. loving watching and learning so much. Haven't been lucky enough to do a workshop, so this is fabulous. Thank you. That's nice to know. Ah, Alexis from New York is watching as well. We've got a lot of people from the uh, States. Yeah, Donna's definitely got a watercolour pencil, so we're <laughs> all right there. Lovely. I can't see anybody else saying that they're, they've got any issues, so if I've missed anything, just shout out again. So, yeah, what I did so far... Um, oh, Yvonne has just come in. Help! <laughs> Help! OK, Yvonne. <laughs> what am I colouring? Right, so it's the light bulb. There we go. Can we just... Uh, so, if you, you show abs there, you've got a coloured here. one. Yeah. It needs As to be an ink that doesn't react with the water for the coloured one. Yeah, permanent ink. As you can see here, one we stamped it with a light colour to go with that light background that we did. Yeah. It's the same colour what we used here on the background and the two others with a black ink pad. Okay. And we used a permanent, um, this one is not finished yet, but we used a permanent ink pad, so when we use the watercolour and the water brush later on, the ink will stay and will not move. Wonderful. And then after that, we coloured with uh, watercolour pencils and we used three different colours here, orange, red and yellow. And then we went from the darker to the lighter. OK, lovely. Hopefully, hopefully you can catch up there, uh, but do keep letting us know. Okay, so what I did here, I was stepping those small light bulbs. Okay, yeah. I just stamped those light bulbs here, the small ones, and I did the same thing. Can you see that border that we use for the background from the kits? Okay. I only stamped this bit where the face oh, is. Oh, the little face, right, yeah, okay. Let me show them in here. And is that a permanent ink as well, Yeah, abs? a permanent ink, because we're going to add some watercolour later on. Let me just move them here so they can see what I stamped. Can you see on the screen? We have the four uh, light bulbs and the men from the border stamp sets. Okay. They're all stamped here. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to cut them out here later. And then we're going to colour them the same way we did with that um, large light bulb. And this is what you get. I prepared them in advance. But in the meantime, we're going to cut some for Catherine. So this is what we did. Okay. We colour them the same way, red, orange, yellow. And in the meantime, I'm going to just do two more here. Oh, Chris, well done. Chris isn't giving up. No, don't be defeatist. Brilliant. And I've just stamped what isn't a face on my back. <laughs> 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 totally the wrong stamp, but never mind. Never mind. So I'm trying to I'm multitasking and it's not working. Do you want to see where is? <laughs> so there you go. So if you want to see the back of packaging, so you know where is the face. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it's in the middle. Might help if I put my glasses back on. <laughs> Yeah, yes, they're here. Oh, it's, one, it's one of those. I, only, I normally just use them for really close up. And then when I'm looking at the screen, I can't see a thing. Mm. So they're on, off, on, off. 
you know what I've lost now? I've lost my stamp. I've lost my stamp now. Where have I put that? You see, I've got my glasses on and I can't see the Just stamp. This is mine. Oh, where's, where's no. it? I'll use that one. There it is. Ah. That isn't the one I had, but never mind. I know, I'm rubbish today, aren't I? <laughs> it was a very nice bit of the stamp that I uh, did stamp out now. I've got the newspaper. It's nice for backgrounds, it's got a texture. Fabulous. There we go, that's a bit better. The colouring of fussy cutting is always quite. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, I'm told when I do my workshops and I have to do cutting out, I'm told I have a cutting out face, <laughs> which I'm do assuming you? is not good. Um, so I hope I haven't got that now. Oh, everybody <laughs> start looking at Janet when no, she's no, cut no. it out. <laughs> because I don't like cutting out. You know you shouldn't have said that, know. Janet, don't you? I'm, I'm regretting it. <laughs> I'm going to sit here with a smile on my face now. <laughs> Just be yourself. We love you the way you are. <laughs> Not when I'm cutting out, you don't. <laughs> Wait, I didn't say you have a cut face. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see here, I did some um, my light by where I cut them. Okay. So I have those one that I prepared already home, colored. Yeah. Well, actually not home here later before the show, and there's here that one without color. So I'm gonna give you one. I'm gonna help you with one. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. Thank so you very we much. do the same way because it's small light bulb now. We just a little bit on the edge. Don't okay. put too much color because it's no. small um, working here. For so those who missed how we colored the first light bulb, so what we do, a little bit of first colour here, which is the darkest. So for us it would be the reds. And then orange, just next to it, a bit of orange. And then last colour, which is the yellow here, for instance, for us, it's the yellow. And then take your water brush and a bit Colour by colour. This is very small light bulb, so just be careful here. Are these the ink tense pencils? Yes, they are. I have yes. these. I have these at home. That means I can no, go home not. and repeat <laughs> this. And now all that colour left over. And you can see it's all coloured and the colours blending together. There you go. Oh, my stomach's growling. I hope nobody heard that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> and I had dinner today. <laughs> I had salad. And salmon flan that I made myself. Sounds very nice. Salmon. Salmon. I'm going to have my dinner on the way back. On the it's not a quiche because there's no cheese in it. Uh, it was very nice, actually. Okay, is everybody watching Janet? No, no, she's not cutting me. out now, is she? <laughs> I'm just, just cutting out now. <laughs> I, I like colouring. I'm okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, put that aside. Let's come back to those because now they are dry. Okay. And then we're gonna use. If I can find my glossy accents, and again, it's behind <laughs> us. <laughs> oh no! Next to the bar, there's Shall the two. I reach it for yes, you? Please. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, and both of them actually. Both of them, the crackle one as well. Yeah. So I'm using here um, the glossy accents. So I like um, the finished touch of the glossy accents yeah. when I use like that like, okay. nail on the top and that 3D effect. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going on the top of my light bulb. So I have here two different, so I have the normal one and I have the crackled one. Okay. If you want to have that crackled effect, as you can see here, this one is with a normal. Can you see here? Yes. Yeah, so let me just hold this so, so everybody can see. And that one with the crackled where you can see so the light So the part. normal one, as that dries, you can see the nice glossy finish there. It does make it look like glass, doesn't it? And the crackled one, you can see a big difference, actually. Look at that. I like the crackled. I really like that. That looks very aged. Fabulous. So, so you're going over the whole thing then, Abs, are you? Over yeah. the base of the bulb as well as the This one, I'm area. look what I'm doing now. I'm just avoiding the centre. Okay. For a reason, just give me a second. Oops. Yeah, I applied a good layer, all my um, light bulb. Okay. Just let me go in the corners. 
I'll just have to turn this bit here. And then I'm going with a cracker on the center, ah. so to have it more real and look like, and the cracker here. Okay, ah, really now that, that's a nice effect. Now, if you haven't got both, you can go with one or the other. Um, oh, have you got a blockage, Jabs? <laughs> <laughs> we need a pin. <laughs> Where's Jimmy? <laughs> Help! <laughs> OK, let's go with <laughs> <laughs> my glossy accent. <laughs> Maybe for the second light bulb. <laughs> I think we've won Jimmy out. He's been running around picking <laughs> up everything for us. <laughs> OK, do I start Thank you. in the meantime? <laughs> do you have yours done at all? Do you uh, glossy accents? No, I've only got a little one. Oh. So a nice covering, a nice oh, even yes. coating of it. Actually using this one. <laughs> I'll check the messages in a second. If anybody at the gallery knows I've missed anything in particular, please Sorry. do shout out. Do you have an I've got a pin. Oh, brilliant. I'll find it. Oh, Janet's got a pin somewhere. <laughs> if I can find it. Oh, now Sue missed the beginning and she's asking Abs what type of make of card are you using? Um, she says she doesn't get good results when using watercolour. Why would that be? Maybe the quality of the paper. I don't know. I will show you in seconds. My, I'm just, uh, just doing. Could be quality of the paper. Abs is saying. I don't know what paper you've got, um, but we'll. Abs is going right, to try and help you out with that. I managed to do the crescent here in the centre now. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. I'm going to do the right. So for my paper that I'm using, I'm using. Um, Can show the brand. Don't know right. The okay. Do we know the Do it's we know the GSM yeah, three hundred GSM. GSM watercolor? Is the one that um, Abs is using. Could I borrow the crackle? Is that all right? Yeah, that one. I think you need Thank a you. if it's not working. You might need a pin if it doesn't come out. It yeah, it really screws it. Yeah. That's why I had I had to do that. You have to squeeze it really hard. This yeah. to get it out. I think I don't know if it's. There's probably just a little bit still in there, isn't there? But it's managing. It's coming out. I like the effect of the crackle. Now then, there we go. We've all gone quiet again, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. Another discovery. When you're using crackle glaze or glossy accents, that makes you go quiet as well. <laughs> <laughs> Especially yeah. when the tube's blocked up. I'm not going to put the crack on the flat <laughs> one because I really have to squeeze it too much. But. Okay. Now, this is where you've got to be careful and not put your arm in it. <laughs> well, I've done has, that before. Abs has a tip for leaving it to dry, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> What's that then? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Something went wrong, did it, Janet? No, no, no. no. So, because um, I was travelling, I, I, I was away visiting my parents for a week. Okay. So, <laughs> that was a funny joke between my friends. So, what I did is I put the gloss accent, I went one week for holiday, and then come back, it was dry. <laughs> 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 so, go for one week holiday, and then come back to be dry. <laughs> Now that would be good if we could all do that, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you also put on those small ones. Oh, right, here. okay. Yeah, on the small ones. Okay. Just quickly just do one or two. Let me just have a look at the messages. <laughs> Guess what? Can't find my glasses. <laughs> They're here. <laughs> I need my glasses to find my glasses. <laughs> yes, lots of you recording to uh, watch later. I think, Abs, because everybody loves watching you so much, don't want to miss anything. Yeah, and it's a good uh, idea to it, it is, it is a great on, yeah. idea. Even if you are crafting along, it's still great to you know record for a later date as well. Oh, and Donna's saying she, <laughs> she didn't know there was a crackle, a crackle one, a crackle glossy accents. Yeah, it, yeah. Has your dad got one in his studio? <laughs> <laughs> What else have we got? <coughs> ah, Donna is also saying, replying to Sue, I would try smooth watercolour card. Do you know that would help? Uh, smooth watercolour for stamping, yeah. The less texture is, the more a, a nice print you have. That could be the answer, couldn't yeah. it, thinking about it, yeah. So, Sue, yes, definitely give, give a, a smoother watercolour card a go. Jonathan's watching as well, loving the show, recording for future reference. Um, <laughs> bless her, Chris. Uh, definitely not giving up, Chris says. Don't give up. <laughs> Don't Never give up. up. <laughs> Never give up. 
Uh, ah, Debbie's saying hot press watercolour or smooth is best. Yes, That's lovely to get too. hints and tips from everybody watching as well. Right, is this the point where we all go on holiday for a week now then? Yes, yes. let's hey. go. All expenses paid and then we'll come back next Part week and everything will be dry. <laughs> Just going to borrow that oh, yeah, one, if so I may. <laughs> okay, so. Otherwise, we're going to have a big mess. Now to move to the next stage. Oh, we're all very quiet again. It's that glossy accents again, you see. Mm -hmm. Right, where are we at at the minute then, Abs? If we've got the glossy accents yeah, on, we'll where are we going next? Sides, leave okay. it to dry sides. Wonderful. And then now um, we're going to move to the background that we did with um, on the watercolour. This one, can you see here? Okay. Oh, yes, that was the. Um, Before, not the tags, after. the other one, the, yeah, the rectangular rectangle. One. Yeah. Before, after. Oh. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's take that light bulb stamp. I like mine. Look at the colours. It's quite bright, that, isn't it? I really like it. And because we one? left it to dry naturally, you can see now how um, different um, lines and different texture Definitely. we have there. Okay, I'm going to take my light bulb stamp sets. Okay. That one side. Black um, Versafine I'm using now. Okay, that one because it's was um, a little bit wet, so just make okay. it a little bit um, flat. So when yeah. I stamp, I will not miss um, the okay. centre part. Again, a stamping platform would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, for those a stamping platform would be good. You know, you can but go because back I'm in. using the acrylic block watercolour, it's also good because you're going to press, yeah. you see? Yeah. Even if the paper is um, is not, is you're not flat. You're really flexing that. There's a lot of strength in that, isn't yeah. there? You can really see? go for it. Okay. So a good layer of ink. Are you using a permanent ink again, are you? Yeah, here? I'm using the Versafine clear in here. So I'm just making sure I have a good layer of Lovely. ink. And for the light bulb, if we miss a little, some details of it, we don't worry because, as I said before, we're going to put that one on the top later on. So even if we miss, um, if we miss a bit of the light bulb, it doesn't matter. Okay. Just need to keep it on. Okay. I shall use the grey again. So what I'm pressing right? here, I'm just pressing on the background because I don't mind if my light bulb is stamped well or not because I'm going to put okay. this one on the top. Right. So I'm pressing on the background and anything is around the light bulb. Okay. I'm going to borrow your black ink, I think, then, because this is a different background, isn't so it? So you do that if you want to have a nice... Um, make sure you have a nice um, contact with acrylic block, ink and paper. Just perfect. Oh, wow. Do you Look want at to use that. Mine? Oh, ah, the ink pad, sorry. And then because we're going to put that one on the top, you can see now. Oh, I like that. That is really effective. Wow. You see where we are now? This is just the stamp. And this one here you have with um, a light bulb. Okay. So I think my one's in the drawer then. Oh, yeah. I'd already there stamped you it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Janet's here. Oh, yes, yeah, yours was pre stamped, I wasn't pre -stamped it, Janet? Mine. <laughs> oh, I've got to stand mm. up again now. I, I'm worried about flexing it. I don't know my own strength sometimes, you know. <laughs> 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 it's quite nerve wracking, actually, <laughs> when you're live on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when and you're, you're live. Stamping. It can go wrong. It did happen to me live on TV. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah, it did happen to me live on TV. It? Yeah. I was We're so excited human, the first time. Yeah, I was so excited, and then I couldn't control that. And Really? Yeah, too much. Oh. Oh, right. Let's have a look. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Happy with that. Perfect. Happy with that. Yeah, let's put it aside here. Phew. I'm Phew. very happy with that, in fact. Really yeah, like really it. Good. Yeah, really good. So, and do you see, the minute you start putting your... Where's my light bulb? Yeah, there you go. The minute you start putting here with the colour, you will see how it pop more. Okay. But of course, we leave it to dry, and if yeah. it's cracker, it will be even better. Okay. I'm going to put aside for now. Okay. And, um... I'm just going to take a quickly, I need to pass, I think, this way for my watercolour there. Okay. I'm going to give you... Um, I 
I think while you're doing that, I'm going to stamp out, because I'm short of light bulbs, so I'm, if I've got some spare card. There you go, one for it. Oh, I don't have half. I've got to stamp a light bulb that I haven't got. There. There you go. Right. Thank you very black. much. Brown and black. Okay. Same Thank for you. Janet. And one for me here. So what I'm going to do now, before come, before sticking any bits here on that background, I'm going to take the black and the brown. Okay. So with the black, I'm just going to go like a very thin line around my light bulb, only one side. Okay. Without pressing too much, just a thin light uh, line. Sorry. So you've gone to the left of the light bulb, yeah. haven't you? And then with my water brush. Right, it. okay. So just very lightly, you say. Yeah. Have you just gone up around the glass area there? What would be the bulb part? Yeah, I just stopped there by the glass area. Okay. And then more water and kind of blending in this to give it a bit of. And then you can put from time to time your light bulb to see. Um, what we're working with now, it's a bit more depth than the dimension. Oh, yes, yeah. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the brown, but around this part here. Okay. As you can see, I don't know if they can see here, on, I'm going to make a zoom in here. Uh, I don't know if we can zoom in here, the brown. I'm going to put it here for size so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to do now with the brown, I'm going to go around that kind of um, around this line down here so you can pick all the okay. elements if you want to highlight I just pick the light bar because it's the focal point and this um, kind of circles are what they are So you're going around the edge of the circle, not on the inside. Is that quiet it? moment yeah. again? The edge. So I'm adding some brown here. Okay. And then I'd, I'm not going to leave it like this. I'm just going to add water and you will see the effect that I will have once I add water. Oh. Right, hopefully everybody's uh, following still. Now, my brown's quite a, a ready brown, which are, is, is nice, actually. Do you want to use my? If you want no, to no, use it's fine. Contrast? No, it's, I'm quite happy with it. And then I'm going to go next to it to get rid of those lines and put in more shade to make it look more natural. And It works quite well, actually, the brown I've got, because I've got pink next to it, and it kind of blan mm -hmm. blends nice. nicely with it. Looks all right, I think. Are you all right, John? Yep, there? I'm good. Lovely. Do you know, it's not, it is nice. We've, we've, they all look very different. We have kind of used similar colours, but they all look very different yeah. still, don't they? Can you see now how we highlighted this bit here? Yeah. It was just a flat, like, stamping, and now it just... Just add a bit of black, because I'm missing okay. here. Okay. And if you think that you still miss, you still need more of the black in here. Once it's dry, which is the case for mine now, I would come back and add. Um, I think that's not really black. That's why. Ah, because mine right, was a little okay. bit grey. Mine's quite grey as well, so you yeah. want it a bit darker. Yeah. Once it's dry, without pressing again, so we not have the lines. Oh, we've got just over 20 minutes left, Abs. Is that going to be all right? Yes. Well, I'm afraid it's going to have to be. We can't, <laughs> we can't <laughs> overrun <laughs> as much as we'd <laughs> like to. <laughs> Lovely. See, so, you now, it's this side. Now, if you can oh, well. notice, it's darker than this one. Yeah. 
because really it puts more black. Okay. Oops, oops, I touched the glossy accents. It's fine. And I'm going to just put it in here. Is that dark enough for us? Yeah. Yes. Well, okay. you can also use um, the black stabula, it's watercolor. Okay. If you want it more darker. Okay. Oh, wow. I like that. So once you finish that, now we're going to move to the finished touches for the three um, project that we've been working on. Okay. The fourth one as well. If we would have time, I will quickly run over the fourth one. But for those three here, as you can see, uh, the three here, this one so far is we still need some finished touches. For those two, well, I mind just to show you what we are so far doing. Um, just gonna quickly, without pressing, the glossy accent is not dry, so I'm just gonna put it here to show you what we did so far. And then the last one is the tag with the colors. That one we need to stamp now and do so. Okay. So that's what we've been doing so far. Wow. So now what we're gonna do now, can you see, we're gonna, before, in another like because we had we made two okay. one for this one one for the second yeah. tag and the third one with the light color for the vintage okay. tag yeah. so now we need to stamp with a light color either the same that we used here or any other light color not okay. black you right. can say gray light brown toffee or any other colors okay and then we're gonna start sticking all these elements and adding some embellishments and I'm creating sure more stamping on the background okay. and also we're gonna use um the stem seal with some white texture paste ah, to have more um, right, dimension. Okay. Okay. Yep. Let me put my finished pieces here. Okay. This one is not dry. Cross the accents, otherwise it would be over the place. So, um, where are the stems? You have one here. We have one here. I'm rather pleased with my background. It's mm. very nice. Can I borrow I your like that, grey, Janet. Um, uh, the grey versifier. Yeah. Yes. Go with the grey versifier, and then grey one. Yeah, yeah. Can I go with that one, and there we go with. Okay. So and everybody at home, if you go to your tag, if you're following us, go to your tag where we did the sort of drippy background effect. But as I have stamped, I'm going to show you how I did stamp this one. Because as you can see, there are two different colors. Yeah. And they're not in the center. Right. So okay. I start stamping the first one here on the edge, this corner. Okay. <laughs> yeah, as you can see here. Right, lovely. Yes. On this corner. Okay. Just um, give it a quick. Get rid of that excess of the ink, and then I may actually use your grey. The grey, yeah, certainly use can. your grey. There you go. Just a bit of grey. I don't want a hundred percent like a perfect stamping because it's only for the background. If okay. You want to use it, and then I'm just going to try to go just here next to it slightly next to it and because I'm using my i4 acrylic block so I don't if I press too much in case there's ink here I don't want it to overlap so oh what I'm going to do right, I'm just going to okay. press here where I want the stamping ah, and that's keep another that good reason one. to have that flexibility yeah, and I it, leave then? and leave that bit here so okay. it's not having in so it's not having any contact with my tag so I would have only that bit that I want here you this see? is when the block really comes in, not a platform then. Yeah, I'm having both here and then later on when you have, um, you can, do you want to use that yep. one? Just Thank if you. you don't want the grey, clean it. Okay, and I'm happy um, with the grey actually. This is one of them I'm going to have later on and that one will come in the middle. But of course yours will be with the glossy accent, it's even better. As you can see here, if you have okay. the glossy accent dry, look how it looks better here because I don't have the uh, glossy accent in the middle because my it's not dry yet, but it would be better okay. if you have all the glossy yeah. accents dry, so leave it to dry. Okay. Okay, and then, sorry, do you have... Could I borrow your foot? Because I need two different colours, don't yeah. I? Thank you. Right. So I can use oxides for this? We're not going to... Yeah, kind of for this? you can use oxides, because only for the background. So 
So I'm going on the edge first. Right, we've got about 15 minutes left. Abs. Okay. Okay, so um, for those who already did that one, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my um, light bulb, using again the open here to have a small hole on the top of my light bulb, as you can see, right in okay. here. And then I'm going to do the same thing with those little... Um, I think I had two before in here somewhere. Right, this is going to test me now, isn't it? Because I've got to do all that flex in the middle of the card and not interfere too much with the, what I've already stamped. Is this the grey one? No. Yeah, mm. no, this one's the grey. Yes, so I just ink up. I've done those two. I made a hole in both light bulbs, the small one and the. Uh, I don't know if you can see them here on the white, you can see the holes if it's on the right. You can see I made two oh holes yes, here. Yeah. So here at home you can either use wire oh. or you can use metallic wire okay. or you can use ribbon or you can use anything you want. So I'm using here a black okay. just to like kind of hang them. They look more um like um more authentic. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> 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 so I'm having here, I'm gonna cut three pieces all different length because uh, one of them would be um, longer and one of them is mid side and one of them would be shorter. That second piece and that right, I'm standing up, I can't do it sat down. You want to cut it in <laughs> so that is the first one. I'm going to pass it through the hole that I made here. If you can see what I'm doing, so just gonna make sure. Um, yeah, so that's we'll, what we'll I get did you on here. camera, don't worry. So you've yeah. gone through the hole, through the okay. hole, okay. Just like to turn it here, okay. It's just to make it more Ooh. steady. So that's the first light bulb. I'm just I'm keeping the finished sample next to it so you know what I'm doing, okay. That's one, and I'm gonna take the same thing and do the second light bulb which is a small one here for my case. Uh. Ah. Even those put some glossy accents later on, so to make sure you have um, a nice effect there. And then I'm going to put the third one somewhere in here and oh, using wonderful. the wire yeah. to get that okay. one. What I like to do is um, I'm going to put some uh, glue. Okay, Janet, I like yours. Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm going to show this, I'm gonna show this right around to the camera. Look at this. Oh, there you go. Isn't that nice? That's really nice. That's very nice. Love I it. like the second colour that she put. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't stamp perfectly, but <laughs> I don't think that it won't matter because I'm going to put it? that over the top. Aren't I? So I'm going to put some glue here to stick my light bulb. Right, let me just have a check on the, all the uh, comments again as well. Let's see what's happening. I better get my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> It's getting late in the day, I'm getting more tired. Uh, oh, now then, Yvonne is saying, I'm using my Pink Pig journals. They work really well. That's nice oh, to know, because uh, we do sell those here as well. And I know a lot of people have gone for the Pink Pig journals. Um, yeah, just, uh, just about the Sue's question about the watercolour. Many people saying, try the smooth watercolour card. Oh, Tracy is watching. Tracy Evans is watching. Oh, hi, Tracy. Good <laughs> afternoon, Tracy. She's watching and probably laughing as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> For sure. <laughs> okay, so I stick my light bulb here at the center of my tag. Okay. And then I'm just using stapler. And then that I like this kind of touch. You don't have to put it, but I like how um, I'm going to have a nice 
Can you see that's what I did here? I like the staples, yeah. Yeah, the staples in here. And that's because it's a little bit too long. I'm just going to cut that bit that I don't need okay. and then make it a little bit more open. It looks like the lights are really hanging somewhere. And then do the same thing with the two others. Okay, perfect. So leave that one aside. Lovely, lovely. I need to stump two more light bulbs out, so I'll catch up with that later. But I'm really yeah. pleased with the background and I've managed to stamp quite well, I think, as well. So one colour, then two colours, and obviously I've got a light bulb to go on the overlay there. But I'm happy with that. That's lovely. Really pleased. Uh, how long have we got left, side. Emily? About 12 minutes left. Okay. Okay, lovely. Brilliant. So I'm having here my... Um, uh, one here. That's the second piece. So for that piece here, what I did is, don't forget that face that we had here. Yeah. The face that we stamped. And then what I did, I just I cut it out that small face. Okay. Add some colours, and then once I add some colours, I use 3D foam, and then I stick it to make it a little bit more dimensional. If they can see here, I'll right. show which okay. share, so just to make sure what I'm talking about. Yeah, here, as you can see. Lovely. Okay, yes, I've stamped my little face, so I can cut that out later So you have well. the light bulb. This one is dry with a glossy accent. Perfect. You have the face. Yep. Also, I used a 3D foam to make sure um, it's more dimensional, as you can see. Okay, lovely. Yeah. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a bit of this wire in here and there just to keep this final touch. Okay, it is very effective, the light inside the bulb, you can see now when everything's dried and you look at the whole thing. It so really is very effective. That's a great technique that I learned today, actually. Mm. I've not done that before. That one. And then adds um, a few bits this side as well too. Make it, and that one you can also turn it to the inside. Like that one, and then what you can do is here you have the choice. For myself here, I'm using um, that one. oops, a little bit. Okay. Add some piece of ribbon. Yeah, there you go. So for my case here, I use a printed like um, ribbon that I had. Home. Okay. Yep. But if you don't have this one. Don't worry, you can use a normal one and then stamp and do whatever of you course. want on top of it, which what I did in here. I used, as truly, I used plain in here. I used ah, plain. so that's nice. So you've got the choice. Yeah. So actually you have the choice. Using the stamps in the kit, you can actually that's stamp exactly on the ribbon, what I'm can't gonna you? Do. Yeah. So I'm going to cut small pieces of plain one. Okay. You could use little offcuts of fabric as well instead of you ribbon. Can, if you yeah, got you ribbon. can. Or just cardstock or if you want. Or tape measure yeah. if you've actually yeah, got an old tape, tape measure. measure. Oh, that's actually. a good idea. That's a good yeah, idea. It is a good idea. Every now and again, I have one. <laughs> 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 I always have a lot. When I go to specific shops, I just take some. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, and also the good thing is this I printed here in black, but because you can stamp it, you can choose the color you want that goes very well with your background. So I'm just gonna take any um, background stamp. Okay. For example, um, where's that board? I can take some details from it actually. That oh one. Yeah, it's, well, it's here. Ah, thank okay. you. Um, so I can oh that's 65 for instance. There's some good numbers in here. This is why we love your stamps so much, Abs, because you've got so many elements within each one. Okay, so I'm going to put my... Um, doesn't matter, because I'm going to put it there, so I'm just going to press... There we go. Yeah. Oops. Lovely. Ah, that's very well. well. That. I like that. That's worked very well. Yeah, and then we're going to pick another detail because there's loads of different detail in here. I can't see if we've got this one, which detail You've not sat use. your sample on top of your glossy accents, have you, Abs? Uh, oh, oh, good. <laughs> 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 and now just that it's bit It's all right, it's not dry, it'll settle. Yeah, just that bit <laughs> of stitches here. I don't want the numbers now, I just want that bit of... Yeah. Wonderful. I really like that's that. It's good. I like the zip. Mm. Yeah, I'm just put it here inside if you want to use that one. And then I'm going to go to my project in here. Let me show you what I'm doing. So if there. Um, take your glue. Okay. Or oh, you could staple these on as well, couldn't you? You can. You yeah, you can indeed. And or you can also stamp in different colors if you have too much black or yeah. it's in your background. So you can use different color. You can go with another color that makes it a little bit lighter. Okay. 
and if those, for instance, I'm going to put them here as a tab of corner. Actually, those, I'm going to stick with them. Lovely. Together. Okay. We've got seven minutes left, Dabs. Perfect. Yeah, and having that one here. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, once you add the face here with the color, because as you can see, that bit here is a little bit darker. But when you add the face, once you add the face with um, that light color, or actually you can also add the hands if you want, because you're going to cut that piece here. We don't need all that okay. piece of the hands. As you can see here, you can put that hand in here. Perfect. But you add colours. For example, I'm going to add here quickly. There are so many elements, aren't there, that you could use on these stamps. Just have a look at the, the stamps themselves that you've got in the kit and you could pick out. Do you know, everybody could make something totally different here, couldn't yeah, they, with these, these particular stamps? You could have three stamps. people using the same two stamps. Yeah. Don't forget, if you are watching and you didn't get the kit beforehand, you still have got the opportunity to buy that. You can see the details on the screen right now. So, of course, you've got that. The one that looks like an A4 is actually two stamps in there. You can see the light bulb in there at the top. You've got the one with the hand the wheels are in there the, they're absolutely huge these and then you've got the border stamp as well that's where the little faces come from um, when I stamped out I thought I was stamping a face and it wasn't it was a newspaper but I've, I've got to say I love that element of the stamp as well I'm definitely going to yeah. keep that and use it use somewhere it so really really lovely stamps I hope you've all been enjoying it um, let me just pop my glasses from my head then and they weren't <laughs> <laughs> So let's have a look. Uh, right, Gillian is asking, what do you do with the tags when finished? Do you put them in a journal or put them on cards? What would um, you prefer to do? My, I put them in my art journal. So in my art journal, yeah. you see like every page have different. And the doubt you, sometimes I put them as they are, my tags straight away on a page. Okay, yeah. And then what I do, I just go with a black uh, journal pen and create some kind of border or something. Okay. Or sometimes actually when I start a background of my art journal, I get everything and I don't know which focal point to be. Ah, just put my tags away. So I have that's my background, I have idea. a tag. Yes. That's how I use my tags. And sometimes when I do my junk journals or my journals, it's because I have so many inserts and all signatures, how you prefer to call yep. them. And then I put some tags in those little pockets or on the back right, of the okay, cover. Yep. Or yeah, yes. that's how I use them. Great or actually, idea. you can use it as a card. It doesn't yep. have to be square or rectangular. A tag can be also a card. Definitely. Just make sure flat Definitely. it. Definitely. Yeah. Put maybe a piece of cardstock underneath just to make it more um, strong, and then it's going to be a card because the card doesn't have to be square or rectangular. Fabulous. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to know what Gillian does with hers now. Um, Sue is saying it's so much fun. I learned so much. It's almost as if you're in my room. Well, that that is actually the idea. So I'm pleased about that, Sue, because that is what we want to create. We want it to be a classroom situation where you can ask questions, but you do feel as though you are managing to craft along with us. Um, but yeah, always great to, to record and watch as well. So, uh, oh, I'm just reading the rest of this. Don't know how you do it, but you always feel like friends. Do you know that? It's oh, really it's nice, Sue. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. For I'm that. pleased about I'm that. Just to see where that Julianne is saying she's watching whilst prepping for Bev and Sam next week. What? Great show all. Thank you, Julianne. Uh, look forward to seeing your samples next week. Yeah, so what I did in this one here, instead of putting the face, I put the hand that we, like, we, we cut out later before. That works really well, I actually. I put the hand, just to give you a different um, example. Amazing. Yeah. Works yes, very, so very well. Hand. I, I like, like this that. hand here. And then I'm going to quickly grab my... Um, yeah, can I have that? Of Pencil course. Case. Uh, this one? Yes. I need my white and black journal pen. Oh, are you going to do splatters? Yeah, I need because <laughs> I can't see, especially in that bit here. Stand and it's a little bit darker. <laughs> And of course, none of them will work now. Oh, actually, this one's working. Oh, do you know, this is one of my favourite ever things, Abs. I just yeah. love and they go, the splatters. I put more splatters where it's dark because just to lighten up a little bit, I'm just adding this one here. And then what you can do also, if you want to use that one, I'm going to put it okay. here. Well, I've not what quite finished mine, so yeah. I'm going to do mine. So what I did also, I picked, I'm sure that you have those at home, small clips and small details that I like adding. For example, I add, um, oh, here I have this wire, orange yes, here. Yes, that's a good so idea. So I'm having white, if you don't have orange, just white with this just oxide, put the colour you want. Oh, we've all got bits of string, Actually, haven't we? Actually, for use. this one, I'm going to put. It, I'm going to keep it white. I'm really going to keep it white because I think I need a little bit of white in for this Kay. sample. And um, what I'm going to do is not straight at all. I'm just going to put like this, and then with the stapler, 
Uh, yes, thank you. With stapler, just give it that. Oops. Oh, I we haven't run out of staples, have no, we? No, I, I was thinking like, oh, <laughs> I make sure I make sure how that they have loads. <laughs> okay, let me put this line so it's properly with two hands. Joe, with little springs and things like that, you know, if you've got mm -hmm. pens and the mm -hmm. springs, the pen runs out, keep springs from that, you can stretch them out, use those, they add yeah, interest, all sorts that of sort of thing, don't they? So all those bits and pieces that are, uh, I say this a lot, but are partners or, or in my case, my mother or <laughs> my sister <laughs> would say, what on earth are you keeping that for? And they're coming so useful, don't they? We have drawers full of odd bits, bits and pieces. pieces. Drawers, a room. Well. <laughs> room. Well, yes. <laughs> Or in my case, a unit, or even two. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to pass this one here underneath, but I want to know Right, do you know what? We've only got a minute and a half left. So I want to see, Janet, let's have a look at what you've done. No, Abs, we'll see what anything. you've done. Obviously, we've got finishing off to do. I need to do a bit more stamping as well. But um, do you think you'll be able to put them on Facebook as well afterwards when we've yes. finished? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm going to put, okay? actually, I was about to say, but I forgot. If you're part of the f our Orange Create Fanatics Facebook group, it's called Orange Create Fanatics. I'm going to post all the pictures of the finished Amazing. samples, mine and also Curry's. Thank you again, Curry, for all the finished oh, samples. Fantastic. If you have any questions, if you have anything, help, love, just like just keep asking and also I was said to I said to um, Janet before and hopefully I will do it now I promise I will do it next month when I'm back from my travel I'm going to do a Facebook live when I'm going to show oh, that'd be the amazing. rest of how to finish the pieces but also we didn't have time to go through the square one because it's a really nice project right. and also we finished those so okay we've got less fanatics. than 30 seconds left so we're just going to have a quick a quick shot at everybody's if you put it onto your mats so obviously I need to finish up but I'm very happy with all the backgrounds. Janet, let's have a look at yours. They look stunning as well. Amazing. And look at Abs. Abs has gone a little bit further, obviously, to show us how to finish off. Please, please, please share more on Facebook. We're being counted out. Janet is coming up. Really enjoyed this afternoon. It's been fabulous. Don't go anywhere.